Burnley Football Club is central to Burnley and has been since it was formed in 1882, 1881, some people say, to be pedantic. Um, but anyway, it's a long time ago. This is a small town of maybe 75,000 people now. Its the population has shifted over the years. It is central to the club. As you know, the, the ground sits right in the centre of the town. It's the focus of it. I was working in Newcastle on one occasion and uh, had a day off and I was in a pub. And, you know, Newcastle is a football town, you know, St James's Park, right in the centre of it, you know. And everywhere you go, everywhere has black and white colours. You never see any other colours of, of supporters except black and white. It's the same here. People have said this to me. You said, you know, you go to Burnley, you never see any Man U shirts or anything like that. You know, but they're rare on the ground. Everybody is as a claret, born, born clarets, you know. And uh, it is fantastic. And it, and it means a lot to the town, not only in terms of, um, uh, you know, giving something for people to do. It's, it's so aspirational. The town rises like a, a barometer up and down on the fortunes of the club. But this club has nearly gone out of existence, as we, as we know, and now it's back in the premiership. The, the chairman, uh, Barry Kilby, is very keen that the, the, town, the, the, the club has a tremendous outreach in the town. You know, that the gymnasiums are open to the public, uh, that, that, that uh, uh, kids can come here to learn. There are learning experiences to be had at the club, you know, computer-driven stuff. Um, uh, the, 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 the outreach into the town in terms of all sorts of opportunities are there. And it's very much is like, um, a bit like, um, uh, you know, Real Madrid or, or Munich on a smaller scale. It is a community sporting club, really. Um, and uh, I, I, I know some time ago there was a, there was an excellent sports centre now in, in town, but uh, I know very much the club wanted it maybe to come here so that it would all be kind of centralised as the space. And uh, now that success is back, and one doesn't know whether it will continue, the Premier League is a, a tough league to stay in, uh, it has revitalised the town. The brand name of Burnley, as far as the town is concerned and its industries, of course, it's now being shown all over the world. I think, I think that 90, 90 countries take uh, uh, the Premiership football. And of uh, course, they, they've never heard of Burnley. I mean, when we beat Manchester United you know, on our first home game, there'd be people in Brazil scratching their heads in, in wonderment at who Burnley were. You know, we generally get mistaken for Barnsley, of course, but you know, that's slip of the tongue, but I mean, that, that effect. I mean, our new sponsor, Cook's Oil, is remarkable because uh, uh, they came on board before there was any chance of the Premiership. The new sponsors, we had Holland's Pies before, which is a good uh, Burnley tradition. We used to have a fan scene called Who Ate All the Pies, you know. But uh, Cook's Oil came on board and got lucky. Of course, they're thrilled now, because they are uh, Burnley... Uh, uh, um, uh, firm, which outdate even Burnley Football Club, the early 1840s, I think, something like that. But now, of course, Cook Oil is all over the world. How good is that? And uh, I'm sure that the council and everybody working behind the scenes are well aware of that, that they've got a, a, a claret and blue flag to wave. Mm.